Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja has sent a very strong point to William Ruto without talking about it. And this should break the consciousness of the presidency. Welcome to the bold analysis. Today, during the launch of a feeding program in a primary school in Roisambo, Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja broke down in tears. It won't, in a video that has circulated, clearly sending a message. I have watched that video more than thrice, and I can tell you the tears is from a deeper conviction. You need to get that. I want you to watch that video because it has got what we are going to look at in this podcast. Unapata shule, Sunday ni kanisa, Monday ni shule, jioni kuna kesha, the next day there is a youth meeting, because we have not given the infrastructure. Successive governments have done bad to the children of Nairobi. We must do something. Excellency, sorry. Watch out! Excellency, ni uchungu ya watoto. Thank you. <clears throat> Your Excellency. Your Excellency, this thing must work. There's no other way. It must work. These children deserve the same that your children have and that my children have. Allow me to stop there because I think the point has been made. We are doing 10 kitchens in 10 weeks. This is the only project I have sat with contractors. This one don't play around with. And they have understood they are not just building a building. They are giving our children dignity and a hope for the future. So Excellency, Karibu Sana, Roisambu, Karibu Sana Nairobi, on Sunday, I visited the Nehemiah Children's Home, the children's home that I'm supposed to visit. And one of the reasons why um, I was going there, because while I was working in Mtanered, which is a, a, community, a community radio station around that place, we once got a child that was brought to the radio to do a story because the child had been picked a four days year old. And I did that story. And after that, uh, after taking the story, I took care of the child for some three days. Then I did the required, and uh, we take we took that boy, it's called Baby Anthony, to that children's home. So it's been it's a very special place for me. Now when I get there, I can tell you, you see the real face of the problem. A child that is hungry cannot eat. And this is a project that if someone was to take 0.1% of our monthly income to even to go to such a noble program, I think most of us would be very comfortable, especially those of us that have been doing a little bit of philanthropy, would be very comfortable. This is, there is a deeper problem. Let me tell you, in the children's home, 
I was I really understood that watoto wanakuja they come at that tender age they survive there until they do form four now reintegration to the community even becomes a problem because they can't they can't get IDs it's a big problem and of course that will not be that was not part of this but I'm just telling you that there is a problem with feeding and the reason why Sakaja's tears are very symbolic is because of this. It is not only the children that we are crying for. The teachers are feeling it. The parents, those tears in that school represent the tears of the teacher, of a taxation and reading of the payroll, represent the tears of a parent who cannot afford what is in the CB, in, in the CBC and represent the tears of any other person. And in Nairobi, I am telling you, Sakaja is sending a message. I don't know who is going to hear and interpretation of those tears using this explanation. Sakaja is telling President Ruto, the tears in front of the president, Kenyans are suffering. And this is due to the economic hardship in the country. It is true. Kenyans are suffering. The feeding program is about affordability. And uh, affordability of food. Look at, you know, when we are talking about inflation, we've spoken about how the taxation, the VATs and the taxes on is going to affect um, or rather how the inflation has affected the price of goods and maybe most of us look at it in the context of household economy look at the schools are if if the fees are not improved midway here which is which again if you improve fees it's not going to affect the access universal education you know I think there should also be something called universal education coverage, something like that. Education is an equalizer. But then we must accept what Sakaja is showing there. Kenyans are suffering. Number two, the tears that is shedding there are the tears of let us make devolution work. Now, that project of school feeding program. Um, I have seen State House team rushing and posting in the social media pages of the president that the mystifying presidency, William Ruto has pledged, has, uh, I don't know, achieved one campaign pledge. Now, what we are not saying is that it is, I don't know, it is a partnership between the county government and the national government. Now, it is an intervention that is supporting primary and ECDE public primary schools here in Nairobi. Do we know that there are quite a number of children in public private schools? Not because of the wish of many, but because even if all of us were to take our children to public primary school, we can't find spaces. Myself, uh, I've been trying to take a relative to a public primary school, I think since January. I could not get a space. So it's not because someone is taking a child to a private school because they can afford, but there is even availability, the resources are overwhelmed. And for the past four months, devolution has been at its deathbed. Sakaja is a governor. And he is a champion or he is a person, a custodian of devolution. If the school feeding program is to succeed across all the countries, all the counties, then it is a coordination between, it is a, a partnership between Sakaja, uh, county government, national government, then devolution must work. So that is what, that's another message of Sakaja's tears that let us not kill devolution. Number three, the leadership is a letdown. 
The leadership is a let down. We've always said, we've always had very good ideas. And we, not that we have scarcity of ideas as a country. We have very great ideas that we can implement. But without the right leadership, they cannot be brought to fruition. And lastly, Sakaja is telling the president, Nairobi, Nairobi is in tears. I read uh, a report about the rate of suicide and GBV. I can just challenge you to read journals on read some uh, some 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 reports even from the Ministry of Gender on the rates of GBV crime, especially related to gender, and um, just such GBV crime rate and suicide you will see some correlation, especially here in Nairobi. Nairobi is in tears. We are talking about raiding people's payrolls with the punitive taxes. The people in the rural areas are not paying rent. So the same payroll in Nairobi is paying the landlord, is paying Matatu, is paying the kiosk is paying mamamboga the head teacher is looking for it for the school fees but we seem not to have done it the leadership nairobi is in tears the ugly face of unemployment is in the town centers what am i saying the ugly face of unemployment Guys, if I can give you inbox this phone and share with you what is in my inbox. If someone is not looking for a job, someone is looking for medical bill, you know, they're just a lot. And well, we cannot solve everything, but you need to listen. President Tuto must understand this. Nairobi is in tears. What to Nairobi on I feel? If VAT is to go through, everything is going up. The shilling now is converting at 140 today. So, that is it. Let's make Nairobi also to work. I know that those, that those who might look at it as a publicity stance, However much it can also play a publicity stunt, but the fact that he decided to shed tears in front, it's intentional, guys. That's the truth. In front of the president is very revealing. And as I finish, I am also going to do something. I said, apart from politics, we cannot sit. We must also be part of a solution. And that is why I'm also going to do a food intervention in a children's home in Dagoretti on Sunday. I'm reaching out to you in a special way. Food, dry food and clothing. We are visiting a children's home. You can donate to us. Uh, the contacts are there. Kawira, who is our admin. If you can deliver your food stuff, donation around CBD, you contact her, then you can donate. Those around Gong Road, you can contact Brenda, the number is also there. And then I've also put my number. For those who are in diaspora, we will help to be part of a solution. You cannot sit and see the society need of us. And um, so on Saturday, Friday and Saturday, we'll do a 50 days challenge, the two days to support the event on Sunday. But for now, let's just help. As we say, we must be part of the solution. We cannot sit back and complain. Thank you.